In 58, there was a big world exhibition in Brussels, the Expo 58. And the Russians had a big exhibition there, including uh, replicas of Sputnik 1 and Sputnik 2. It was the first time that people from the Western world could have a close look at the hardware developed in Russia. And my father came back with a toy and it represents Sputnik 2. Then this cap is released and here is the dog. <laughs> yeah. compared what the astronauts were doing to what I learned Christopher Columbus and Vasco da Gama was doing, exploring the new world. The spirit uh, remains fundamentally the same, and that is to search for new grounds, new opportunities, and new ways of life. The demonstration flight of the new American launch vehicle, the SLS. It has been decided to have as a primary payload Orion so that it would reach the moon and come back to Earth. Argum will support the SLS operations, providing information when the launch vehicle is no longer able to communicate with the ground. Even when you think about space, you don't think just about making the life of astronauts better, but humans better. Developing robotics and space industry is extremely important. I think the technology that is developed in the space industry is all around us and is so important to everyday life. I think in the future as well, robots won't be a standalone item that are operated. They're actually going to be interactive and, and used with humans and you're going to use a robot um, at work and you're going to use a robot at home and they will help you in your daily lives. The lessons that we've learned through operations at, in the International Space Station program really could be used to develop a new global space exploration program in which we really use those lessons to really create and inspire the next generation. At the time when life appeared on our planet, the surface of Mars looked very similar to the surface of the Earth. We would like to know if there was ever life there. If there was life, how different was it from us? We are now at the step of robotic exploration. The next step would be to find the most interesting samples to bring back from Mars to Earth for analysis. Low Earth orbit used to be somewhere we went to explore. It was the unknown. But now, after years of living and working on the International Space Station, Low Earth orbit has become somewhere we go to work and we go to live. It's somewhere we do research that benefits life on Earth and expands the scope of human understanding of the universe. Now we need to look beyond low Earth orbit to the next frontier for human exploration. And this will be the surface of the moon. By going there to live and to work and to explore, we will find out about ourselves as we learn about our partner in space and in history. And as we explore as a society and we look back at ourselves from space, everything is going to look a little bit different.